Welcome! In this video we'll introduce you to a cool tool by OpenZeppelin, so, which is the Contracts Wizard. In this simple tool you can generate your own, well, you can generate your own smart contracts and define the desired standard. So there are certain standards, for example, for normal tokens, the ESO20 standard or the ESO721 standard, used for NFTs or, uh, well, governing standards and so on. So you can just click on the desired category. In my case, we will again make an ERC20 token. You can define the name of the token. I will just call it test. And I can just define a symbol and also define how much I want to initial mint of that token. So I'm going to be minting 1000 uh, units of my token, for example. So you can see here it's it's defining all, of, so it's it's creating while I'm clicking on these uh, checkboxes and also uh, well input text into the text fields. It's it's showing you the contract code. So for example, you can also make it mintable. You could for example also make it burnable. You can define it you want for example. So it's always defining your privilege accounts will be able to store snapshots of balances and be retrieved later. So you can see here there's also a definition of what is possible there, possible. Possible to mark this when not paused useful. Yeah, exactly. For example, the master account could be allowed to pause certain functionality if there is a problem or whatever. And after having that, you can just click on copy the clipboard. So either you just copy the code or you can also already open it in Remix. So if you could just click on that, so I have it open here, but right now it's loading the code here. And now I've got the code in there. So in Remix, which is a web ID. So an integrated development environment. And after I have all of that, I can just go to compile contract. So now I'm compiling the source code, which was just generated there. And afterwards I can go to deploy. So which is here. And I can now define, I want to use an injector web free, that one there. So this will be to the songbird network again. And I will select the test contract there. And after, after having selected that one here, so the, the minting is defined, I will, oh, I want to call a test here. I have to compile one more time with control S. And now I can just deploy my, so again, I have to select it, and now I can just deploy my, my user 20 token. So you can see here now the gas fee, which is 0 0.47 Songbird, I can, uh, I can confirm that. And after doing that, my, my, as, uh, so my token was created. Now I'm just going to copy this my, this my contract address. I'm going to click here on copy. And now I can also go to the to MetaMask, go to assets and also add my token. I'm just going to paste the, uh, the contract address, go to next, add token. Now you can see I've got 1000 of my, um, of my test token here. And yeah, that's how that works. So, right. So, you can use the wizard, like I said, for any other, so for all different standards there. For example, also for, for governing, you can see here, for example, the, so what they, they define uh, above what, is, what you can use it for. And also, like I said, there are tool tips for all the functionality we've got there. And yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.